So here we're using an excavator to start ripping a rabbit warren. But initially what the excavator operator is doing is actually cutting a trench in the warren to have a look how deep the warren actually goes. So you can see where we've intercepted a, a burrow within that warren system down at the bottom of the trench there, which is at least 600 mils deep. So it's over half a metre in depth. Um, and that gives a good indication of the sort of depth that you need to work at when you're ripping if you're going to have success in destroying the warren system. So again, depending on the type of soil that you're in and the extent of the warren system, because this is only a reasonably small warren, this one, but some warrens have been known to go down to depths of over two and a half metres in easier to dig soils and in sort of quite large setups. So it would be important in those areas to use much bigger equipment than you would be using here. However, you also need to keep in mind that you don't do more damage with the equipment you're using than what's actually being done by the rabbits. So it's pretty important to sort of match the type of equipment to the job you're doing. Um, in some cases, an excavator works very well. Other areas, you might actually need to go to a larger type of bulldozer. Um, again, sometimes you might only just be using a tractor with a ripper on it. But regardless of what you're doing, the main thing is that you're effectively doing the job and getting down to the depth of the warrens. And then once you've finished sort of cross ripping, sort of smoothing everything over. As you can see, he's begun cross ripping now. Um, so he's actually getting a cross on where he's been ripping previously and that'll ensure sort of completely destroying the warren structure underneath and following doing that then he'll smooth over and compact the ground which is an, another important thing to do when ripping because you want a good fairly even flat surface there um, one that makes it easier to grass up again um, and also it's less attractive for the rabbits to try to dig back into another thing to do with post ripping it's important to keep checking the area. So here we have the area where the warren's been ripped and then smoothed over afterwards. So what can be done here now is later on we can spread some grass seeds and eventually this will all grass up again and to encourage it to grass up fairly quickly is a good thing to help prevent rabbits re-establishing in this area. The other things you can do is come back of an evening and there may be rabbits looking for their warren that have been displaced and they can be shot and also I would suggest for a period after ripping coming back and checking the areas that have been ripped and look for where rabbits are trying to dig back in and they, they can be dealt with by fumigating with Fostox and tablets. Okay so here we've got a warren that's been ripped however problem with it being it's on a boundary fence and there's burrows actually going in underneath and previously we used a smoker on this warren and I've identified openings on the other side now that's in someone else's property so it just highlights how important it is for people to work together and so that ripping can be done on this side as well and another consideration when ripping depending on locality but also check with dial before you dig to make sure that you don't actually dig up any surfaces because it could be embarrassing to uh, and expensive to find something like a fibre optic cable or something that you didn't know was there. So if you're doing a big ripping program or really any program where there's any chance of that there might be services underneath, it's always best to check. Yeah, so in the background on the hillside, you can see an, another big problem with rabbit infestations and that's blackberries. And so it's another thing very important to deal with blackberries or similar pest plants depending where you are but they provide great harbour for rabbits to establish warrens underneath so the odds are if you went and sprayed those blackberries got rid of them you'd probably find there's warrens underneath those but blackberries certainly provide shelter for rabbits initially to get cover from predators and then they'll start establishing warrens underneath so in the whole scheme of dealing with pest animals you know, getting rid of warrens, sort of dealing with the, the blackberries. It's, it's all very important and all ties in together.